The United Nations is using satellite imagery to help coordinate the emergency response. Hundreds of communities in this red zone in the Philippines had damaging winds in excess of 120 kilometers per hour. It was double that near the eye of the storm. States of calamity have been declared on islands across the archipelago. And take a look at these before and after images. We know much of Tacloban has been completely destroyed, but it wasn't just coastal communities. This inland town was wiped from the map. And on an island to the west, this town of 36,000 people suffered widespread devastation. Well, typhoons are common in the eastern Pacific, but this one was quite literally off the scale. It had winds in excess of 300 kilometers per hour before it hit the Philippines. That's faster than a speeding racing car. And in the face of that, very little we humans can build would be left standing. Mike Armstrong looks at the terrifying power of this typhoon. When people use the phrase off the charts, they're usually exaggerating, not this time. Typhoons and hurricanes are categorized on a scale of one to five. Haiyan could be a new number. If we had a category six scale in the Atlantic Ocean, it could very well have been right at that threshold if we set one. A storm qualifies as a hurricane if it has sustained winds of 119 kilometers an hour. At that point, it's damaging roofs and breaking branches. As it moves up, things get worse quickly. By category three, trees are snapping and uprooting. By category four, buildings start losing roofs and walls. Category five is catastrophic. Areas can be left uninhabitable for weeks or longer. That's what the Philippines have gone through. In fact, to qualify for a Category 5, winds have to be 252 kilometers an hour or higher. Haiyan was more than 50 above that, more than 300 kilometers an hour. Experts at the University of Western Ontario study wind and its effects on buildings. They say basically, other than nuclear reactors, nothing is built to stand up to a storm like Haiyan. We really don't design common structures or houses, uh, schools, and things like that for these kinds of wind speeds. Canada's last serious hurricane was Juan a decade ago. Eight people were killed and it did $300 million worth of damage. The winds from Haiyan were twice as strong as Juan, according to experts. That could mean damage five to eight times worse. The Philippines are suffering, any country would be. We would see very, very similar damage. The houses would be wiped out. I think, I think we'd be hard pressed to say we'd be doing any better. It's just an overwhelming kind of storm. One thing that does make the Philippines a particularly bad target is elevation. It's low. The six meter storm surge ripped through communities along shorelines. In fact, unlike most storms, Haiyan was actually gaining power as it made landfall. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.